What's up guys, SCS, we and we back with So, this is gonna be a pretty different video So, uh, I was talking to Deluxe a long time ago And he was like, man, this, this is what I like about certain business people They don't always try to sell you themselves They'll sell you the motivation to do it yourself, right? He told me like, man, you could take a motor apart, you can do a stitch job. So I was like, I don't know about all that, but if you think I can, I guess I'll try, right? So I was looking for the cheapest, absolute cheapest sewing machine I could find, and this was it. I wanted one that had walking feet. So this is walking feet. I'm going to show y'all what walking feet is because it took me a lot of research, man. Walking feet. All right. Got some fabric in here. Let me drop this needle down. Move that out the way. So this is walking feet. So this, is ha this has a three-component feeding system. So you got the feed dog, this at the bottom. And then you got the walking feet. And a needle. Let's do all three. So you got uh it's it's a whole bunch of different different ones. And this was like I feel like it'll be the best for me. So you got the walking feet holding down the fabric, the feed dog under it. This is the feed dog. This moves when you uh put your foot on the foot pedal. And I feel like like I say that'll be the best for me. It was, it was cheaper ones, but they didn't have certain stuff that you would, like, need as a starter. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all see how the feet are literally walking on the fabric. I'm going to slow it down for y'all so y'all can see it. So, that's what I wanted. I'm no stitcher by far. I'm... Just like trying to get into it. You know, I say like we got like six, seven cars and we're trying to do something spicy to all of them. What exactly? Don't know. We'll see. I'm not trying to pay five grand a car either. I didn't lock stitch on this either, so just showing y'all something. Alright, like I said, I, I didn't lock stitch on it. Basically reversing the thread or turning it around. Again, again. I'm just showing y'all. I was just showing y'all what uh, the walking feet do. Like I say, I'm just trying it out. And then uh, I really, really, really wanted a machine. So my wife could have something to do. She wanted to make clothes. And I was going to keep trying, trying, trying on this machine. Like, I mean, fabric don't cost that much. So I will keep failing until I actually am good enough to be okay with stitching something. You know, got me some sewing foam. This is the King Wrench style brown that I was going with on my two door. So I feel like that'll be the first one. Since it's not coming out no time soon, I feel like that's the first one that I want to try to do a seat on. And if it go good, you know, I'll just go get a couple more yards of that. Front and back seat, uh, I do. A headline or something, something trying to find something for it. Well, I have been trying to find something for it. I, I stopped looking at you, but uh, this is the cords I made for it. Um, I was just trying to do some, some uh, what you call hmm, I forgot what it's called. I was just trying to, trying to do it, see the tension on that tight the gap is different on one side I, I, I put the pressure foot on this side and then on the other side I put it I basically lined it up off two different sides but this is the first thing I was stitched and it didn't come out too bad something goes in between this two so, it's, so the middle stitch won't be vulnerable but all in all like I said I was just trying something Hey, I'm gonna go find me a straight, a straight edge, some chalk, 
and then take my seat apart and bring it, bring the uh, cover down here. And I need to add some foam. So I got the, the postage store gave me this foam here for free. Said, hey man, it, it's just one seat. So yeah, yeah. All right, you can have this. I, I don't really wanna sell you too much. You might not need it just yet. I was like, all right, cool. Sounds like a plan to me. But uh, all in all, I said, I'm, I'm always willing to try something. And I don't care what the price is, because I cannot, like, go to school. And the price of, the price of, how am I trying to say this? The price of one interior job is twice as much as that sewing machine. So, I mean... It's just, to me, it's just a no-brainer to actually give it a try before I spend four grand on the interior. And then the stuff for interior on a car. So if you have a console, front back seats, a rear deck, front dash pad on certain cars, front dash, all of that headliner, everything, whatever, paint, all of that stuff you can get. If you're doing it cheap, cheap, because I, I, I'm like I, that 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 uh King Ranch style is not all that cheap, but if you're doing it cheap with the Econo style fabric and uh, all that, man, I feel like you can get it done around. That's just me. I'd rather spend a couple couple bucks and learn it or attempt to learn it at least before I go and spend. 20 plus thousand on how many cars, right? So it's just a no brainer for me to just go ahead and try when I can get it done. Y'all definitely stay tuned. We got a sewing machine. 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 Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Got this glue. No, door open. About to wrap these two consoles later on. And definitely clean up this garage. Yeah, y'all definitely stay tuned, man. We're gonna hit y'all with some bangers back at the back at the back at the back. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a whole separate video when I do my first seat, and I'm gonna name it doing my first seat. And that way y'all can see the outcome of me just knowing a little bit that I do know and trying to uh, see what I can make from literally watching a few videos, reading up on a few forms and watching. So it's kind of hard to do this stuff because you don't know what you're doing. Like I, I, you gotta learn how to, you gotta learn how to uh, address tension, adjust tension. You gotta learn how to stitch and not stitch crooked. Like a French seam, that's what that one on that blue fabric was called. It's called a French seam. I don't think I would ever use a single stitch, basically a, a, a single stitch is a machine with one needle. I don't think I'll ever use a single stitch machine to do French scenes because if you don't have the skill, if you lack the skill of steady hands and patience and your stitch is gonna be crooked. And I've seen where shops charge $10,000 and, and, and more and the stitches are crooked. like. Okay, it looks good, but does it look $10,000 good? Do you know what I'm saying? So, if I ever was to get real good, I don't think I would use a single stitch machine for French seams. Um, but, like I said, I be looking at that video every single night. Sometimes I take breaks when I'm in the garage and stuff. And I just look at certain machines and look at certain stuff. Like, I like, I'm thinking like, hey, I could, with literally two machines, you could build a, a entire interior. But I feel like I'm dragging y'all along, man. I'll just save another part of me working for y'all. And then, uh, <laughs> interesting, so fun. Look, Monday I went up there for some fabric for uh, two consoles, and then the next day came right back and uh, bought the sewing machine. I just, I just, it was just too tempting, man, I mean, to not try. Worst case scenario, I fail. Best case scenario, come out A1. But uh y'all boys definitely stay tuned. Got a new sewing machine, put it to good use.